Trump just gave Kanye awesome gift for standing up to Jimmy Kimmel in interview. Kanye West breaks all the molds out there when it comes to both entertainment and politics. I'm usually pretty good at figuring people out, but there have been numerous times where I found myself surprised, baffled and perplexed by Kanye. Many times in a good way. I have to admit it's refreshing to see someone stand by what he truly believes and no matter who attacks him. You don't see that much anymore and I find it uplifting. Jimmy Kimmel probably didn't care for it much and was unpleasantly surprised when he had Kanye on his show this week. Kanye West, 41, has been very vocal in his support for President Trump. He's not bashful about it at all despite being attacked by liberals for his political views. Kanye was blunt while defending his pro-Trump views to Jimmy Kimmel and he stated that he would not be bullied over them by liberals. Liberals can't bully me, news can't bully me, the hip-hop community, they can't bully me, because at that point if I'm not free to be me, I'm no longer ye, the rapper said on Jimmy Kimmel Live, making it crystal clear he is not a politician but that he is stepping out in support of the president. He said it represented overcoming fear and doing what you felt, no matter what anyone said. Trump is a big fan of Kanye's as well. The president gave Kanye an awesome gift by thanking him after the interview for being willing to tell the truth. That and standing up to Jimmy Kimmel period. That's no small thing coming from the president of the United States. Trump's complete tweet is this, thank you to Kanye West and the fact that he is willing to tell the truth. One new and great fact, African American unemployment is the lowest ever recorded in the history of our country. So honored by this. Thank you Kanye for your support. It is making a big difference. Yes, it isn't good for Kanye on getting the truth out there even if it is on Kimmel's show. Kanye West is from Chicago, so he sees what crushing unemployment can do to the black community. He explained to Kimmel why he supported President Trump in the 2016 election. He said it took him 18 months to work up the courage to wear a Make America Great Again hat. He knew it would set his fans and the left on fire and it did. Just as a musician, African American, guy out in Hollywood, all these different things, you know, everyone around me tried to pick my candidate for me," he told Kimmel. And then told me every time I said I liked Trump that I couldn't say it out loud or my career would be over, I'd get kicked out of the black community because blacks, we're supposed to have a monolithic thought, we can only, like, we can only be Democrats and all. West went on to say that after he was hospitalized, he came out lacking confidence, I didn't have the confidence to take on the world and the possible backlash and it took me a year and a half to have the confidence to stand up and put on the hat no matter what the consequences were. That's a man with the courage of his convictions and a man of principle. I respect that a great deal." Kanye also said that he believes modern education keeps us all too focused on the past. We get too caught up in the past and what everyone's saying and what everyone's tweeting. And sometimes you just have to be fearless enough to break the F-King simulation, he said. In the end, West challenged Kimmel and his audience to try love rather than hate. When I see people just even, go at the president, it's like, why not try love? He said. For one person to stand up against all odds and just hug somebody the way that Alice Johnson, whom Trump granted clemency, hugged her family when she got out of jail. That one by one by one, we can defuse this nuclear bomb of hate that we're in as a society by thinking of everyone as our family. For a long, Long time I wondered about Kanye West's mental state. But perhaps I was mistaken. He seems to have more on the ball concerning his political and world views than most people out there these days. It takes a big man to admit something like this in front of the world. West does it without shouting or making others wrong, he just wants to connect with other people and let everyone have their own point of view. That's the way it should be and it is a uniquely American point of view. I hope that young people are watching and listening to Kanye. He's a pretty good role model on this front these days. Kimmel, not so much. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.